very good afternoon everybody so um i spoke to the business owner of team value autos and he said to me did you ring the business and i went yeah i did i rang the business because there was no vehicle there and the shutters were down now graham had said to me to meet him for the car. Now, when I rang Steve this morning, um, he confirmed it is his business. And he said to me, it's a one-man shop. When I mentioned to him, uh, could I speak to Graham Jackson he went there's nobody here of that name just me and I explained to Steve that I had spoke to one of the other businesses located in the area and the guy who I spoke to said the owner was called Steve now Thanks to a few people on Twitter, um, I rang the guy this morning and as I say, he confirmed it is a one-man business. So, Graham Jackson 2971 led me and my family on a merry goose chase because at the end of the day, I've had a really bad couple of months. I lost my mum. And um, I lost my mum on the 22nd of November. Which meant the motorability car was going to go back. Now, I live in a village. And as most people would know, if you live in a village, you need transport. Which is why the trip up to the northeast happened. But to be wound up, ah, uh, yeah, wound up, is a very cruel thing to do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight each message from Graham Jackson. 2971 to Google and see if we can trace this person because it, it's not nice you know when somebody's really really down on the look to send them on a wild goose chase now nah, you, you just don't do that see as I've said many many times where I live is 225 miles from St James's Park. So, like I say, I normally bring up my brother's boys for the game. And, you know, we've had some absolutely real good times doing that. And with a motorability car going back, well, that left a hole because we got the second half of the season. But the messages from Graham Jackson 2971 um, they're unreal and like I say they are being sent to YouTube to trace the person. Lots of other people jumped on the same bandwagon Why were you late? Well, it doesn't really matter why. Because at the end of the day, the vehicle wasn't where it was meant to be. And this person who I've mentioned had threatened legal action. Well, guess what? It's going the other way now. 
because, like I say, when you send people on a wild goose chase, it's like chasing the end of the rainbow, isn't it? And we all know what happened there. So, like I say, um, going to try and trace this person and... There has been on Twitter people who have made different profiles which people have spotted like me with an Oculus headset on. Now I'm going to show you the headset. This is the headset. Now, like I say, at the end of the day, a lot of people can, you know, think they're having a bit of a fun, a bit of a laugh and all the rest of it. But I'm still feeling the loss of my mum. And to be totally honest, to send me or anybody else on a wild goose chase. However, it's not exactly brilliant, is it? But anyway, thank you all for your comments, even though the comments are about me being a bit late. The weather, you know, the weather was bad that day. And, as I say, I'm going to try and trace Graham Jackson 2971. So, thank you very much for watching. Loads more videos coming. Some will be here, but the majority of them will be in Newcastle, either outside St James's Park, well, I'll try doing it inside St James's Park, but you live and you learn. And this person who have been mentioned quite a few times, um, hopefully they cease and desist. Hopefully, and hopefully we, we trace the person and get an apology. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Lord's more to come.